our shipyard every day. It's my honor to represent them and to welcome you to this very, very special ceremony. I'd also like to extend a very special welcome to those who are watching the ceremony on the NASCO website and Facebook Live. Fellow Flag and General Officers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. What a great Navy Marine Corps day. Demonstrating the toughness as he took the initiative to move forward and neutralize the machine gun fire that was leveled on the U.S. forces at that time. The initiative and toughness that Corporal Williams demonstrated in February of 1945. What he fought on the Black Sands of Iwo Jima in 1945, but his service did not stop there. Ever since that, he is uh, the ship's namesake and a patriot. That's Chief Warrant Officer Herschel Woody Williams. Yeah. daughters of Woody, Travi Ross and Tracy Ross. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pause this morning to ask for your grace and presence in this time-honored naval tradition, which is the christening of a naval vessel. Officials and all of our distinguished guests, this is a monumentous occasion, and it is an honor to be here on behalf of Admiral John Richardson, our Chief of Naval Operations. I deeply appreciate this opportunity to join you in celebrating the beginnings of this. He said, well, I'm going to make some contacts off the email. Of course, he got in touch with Ron, and I think they finagled together. And so let's see. We're forged out of the Civil War. If it wasn't for Abraham Lincoln, uh, West Virginia wouldn't be a state in 1863. We broke away in 1861. We just thought that the uh, Virginia, uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia was just uh, going in the wrong direction. We had a lot of problems uh, with that, and as a state, uh, we broke away. Thank you for doing this. Thank you very much. This concludes our ceremony.